Good morning, this is Dylan Jovenet from Behind the Markets. Happy Tuesday. Today is October 15th. We are halfway through the month, the halfway point. So today I wanted to talk about uh, the bond market uh, and what it's signaling to investors. The Federal Reserve slashed interest rates by a half a point a few weeks back, as everybody knows, and they signaled that more cuts were going to come, probably in quarter point increments. Yet in that same time, investors have pushed the yield on the 10-year Treasury to over 4%, the highest in months. That's a big deal. The 10-year Treasury yield is the yield by all professional investors make decisions on stocks they should invest in. So this is a very important yield. But the big question is, why would 10-year yields rise? Why would long rates rise when the Fed is lowering rates? That seems awkward and wrong and against what the Fed really wants. Now, one of those reasons is relatively benign. Inflation and growth won't be as low as it was before the pandemic. But it's the second reason that we've been talking about and that I think concerns me the most, and that's just the federal debt. The federal debt is literally on an unsustainable path, period. And it's probably going to get worse after the election. The effect on what what bond investors are saying by pushing rates higher is with the kind of spending, reckless spending that Washington is doing, that creates potential for big inflation over time. So you guys are spending so much money. What we need as bond investors is higher interest rates to compensate us for all the money you're spending, and the risk of inflation that causes. Right now, and and by the way, when you look at this, the spending has been crazy ever since basically the Great Recession in 09. It's just been bonkers. We went from debt to GDP ratio of 33% to now we're at 100%. And the effects of all that spending have been invisible so far. But once a country crosses like a debt to GDP ratio of around 100%, you start to see the effects of all this insane spending show up in higher interest rates. And this will impact everything. It'll impact the mortgage you get for your house. It'll impact how your credit card terms interest. It'll impact the loans, the money you spend on a loan to get a car. It will impact everything. We are starting to see the corrosive effect of all this reckless spending out of Washington, D.C. And unfortunately, it's probably going to get worse. Think about it. When was the last time a new president was elected who didn't spend a ton of money right after the election? So I've looked at both candidates' plans, and it's really a, a whole bunch of new debt over here or a lot more new debt over here. It's crazy. It's pick your poison, frankly, with all the spending programs that we're hearing about. This is one of the reasons, I know when the Fed started to raise rates, I pushed and I recommended everybody, all of our customers and members to really uh, focus on short-term bonds, short-term money market funds. This is one of the reasons that a lot of people on Wall Street have been saying, now's the time to sell your short-term money market funds. I haven't really felt that way, which is why I haven't suggested selling them, which is why I still am putting all my excess cash every single week, basically, into short-term money market funds, because it lets me collect an interest rate around 4% from the federal government. And I only recommend, by the way, U.S. Treasury short-term obligation funds, only ones that invest in U.S. Treasuries, just for the record. But it allows me, as an investor, to sit here and collect 4% on my money while I'm waiting for opportunities to cross the strike zone which is the kind of place you want to be at. It's certainly better than keeping your money in a bank because the banks aren't paying anything. Basically, they were really quick to lower rates as soon as the Fed began to lower rates. But the banks don't really represent the actual market. They're a closed ecosystem. So they don't raise rates or lower rates based on what the Fed does. The market itself, like federal money market funds backed by U.S. Treasuries, those are real-time reflective of the market. And this market is telling us that rates uh, are are likely to stay higher for longer because of this unsustainable spending coming out of Washington, D.C., that unfortunately for my kids and grandkids, ultimately, 
is, uh, is going to cause a serious financial crisis. As J.P. Morgan said, the most predictable crisis in history is coming. Anyway, that's all I have today. Have a wonderful day.